football. A sport of passion, pride and privilege. Plaguing just about every nation around the world. It is more than a sport. It fills the identity of many. Fans and players alike. They are encompassed by what it offers. Refuge, freedom and justice. It's the sound of something new. It takes you to unforeseen places. We are not really sure what is about to happen. It is the very thing that gets many through the day, week and year. Italy, a nation of people proud of their culture, history and tenacity. People who conquered Gaul, Greece and Germania. A land the world owes much to, always on the cutting edge of history. Their greatest pastime, football. The old cliche, you may take an Italian out of Italy, but you can never take Italy out of an Italian. This statement is true for many entrepreneurial spirited immigrants who left their homeland post World War II in search of something more. Bags packed, no security, but full of ideas of what could be. Now fast forward 20 years and you have a whole host of people who have found a home in Sydney's West. These Italian Australians love their new homeland but still long for their culture as they felt there was something missing. The idea of an Italian club became a reality in 1956. It was born in the necessity of a meeting place for the Italians of the district of Bosley Park. A place where they could be proud of their heritage and equally proud of the people and nation that gave them a new home and future. Now they had a place for their greatest pastimes, thus the Marconi Football Club was born. The club went through so many successful seasons and to this day goes down as one of Australia's greatest teams. Marconi, a team that transcends the field. It has been a fertile breeding ground for many of Australia's stars, male and female. It has taken time to invest in humans, as they call themselves a club, not a franchise. The team was named after Guglielmo Marconi, the Italian inventor of the radio, which highlights the fact that they have not lost sight of their homeland. If you ask the old men that frequent the stadium, where is their home? They would point to the ground and say here. But that's not really the question. The objective of these people was, the still is, to have the best of both worlds, so to speak. They love their new physical home, Australia and are extremely glad and grateful to be here, but they are worrying with the fact that they are so far away from the cultural elements that they loved about Italy. If you travel there today, you will find an unbelievable legacy created by just a few men who had an idea. They say, football, family and food, in that order. There is such an inviting atmosphere that you can't help but be swept up in. Under this one common flag of common ideals, they have been able to communicate and achieve so much together. They have created a cultural and sporting community that is unrivaled in Sydney and possibly Australia. It is underpinned a need to achieve and desire to proudly show off a country they once called home. At the back you will find the heartbeat of the building, the old men playing bocca. They play well into the afternoon and reminisce about the glory days on the pitch. They are the Marconi Club.